Understanding the Science of Fear, Harnessing and Transcending a Powerful Emotion Introduction Fear is a primal emotion deeply rooted in human evolution, serving as a crucial survival mechanism to alert individuals to potential threats and dangers in their environment. While fear can be a natural response to perceived risks, it also holds significant influence over human behavior, cognition, and decision-making processes. This report delves into the science of fear, exploring its physiological and psychological mechanisms, its impact on individuals and societies, and the potential for harnessing fear for both negative and positive outcomes. The Nature of Fear Fear is characterized by a complex interplay of physiological, cognitive, and emotional responses triggered by perceived threats or dangers. When confronted with a fearful stimulus, the brain's amygdala, a key structure in the limbic system, initiates a cascade of neurochemical reactions that prepare the body for a fight, flight, or freeze response. This physiological arousal is accompanied by subjective experiences of anxiety, apprehension, and dread, which can vary in intensity and duration depending on individual factors and contextual cues. Mechanisms of Fear The experience of fear is mediated by a network of neural circuits involving the amygdala, prefrontal cortex, and other brain regions responsible for processing sensory information, regulating emotions, and forming memories. Fearful stimuli trigger the release of stress hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, which mobilize the body's resources for action and heighten vigilance. Concurrently, the amygdala communicates with the hypothalamus and brainstem to initiate physiological responses such as increased heart rate, rapid breathing, and heightened sensory perception. Impact of Fear on Behavior Fear can exert a profound influence on human behavior, shaping decisions, attitudes, and social interactions. In response to perceived threats, individuals may exhibit avoidance behaviors, defensive reactions, or adaptive coping strategies aimed at reducing perceived risk and restoring a sense of safety. However, excessive or irrational fear can impair judgment, inhibit rational thinking, and lead to maladaptive behaviors such as avoidance, phobias, or anxiety disorders. Harnessing Fear for Negative Outcomes Threat actors, including authoritarian regimes, extremist groups, and manipulative individuals, often exploit fear for nefarious purposes, seeking to control or manipulate populations through intimidation, coercion, and propaganda. By instilling fear in individuals or communities, these actors seek to undermine trust in institutions, sow division, and suppress dissent, thereby consolidating power and advancing their agendas. Tactics such as fearmongering, disinformation, and psychological warfare are employed to exploit vulnerabilities and induce compliance through fear. Political conditioning should not be conflated with training, persuasion, or even indoctrination. It goes beyond that. It involves manipulation. It entails seizing control of both the most basic and the most intricate nervous patterns of human beings. It is a struggle for dominance over nerve cells, characterized by coercion and enforced conversion. Rather than conditioning individuals to objectively confront reality, the manipulator conditions them to adopt catchphrases, verbal cliches, slogans, formulas, and symbols. The voice of Big Brother echoes within all the lesser siblings. The Pavlovian approach in the totalitarian context entails imprinting prescribed reflexes onto a fragmented mind. The totalitarian regime seeks first to elicit the desired response from nerve cells, then to assert control over the individual, and ultimately to dominate the masses. The process begins with verbal conditioning and training, which involves associating the requisite stereotypes with either negative or positive stimuli, pain, or reward. The Pavlovian theory when applied as a political tool to standardize thought processes, referred to as Gleichschalten, by the Nazis, forms the cornerstone of totalitarian regimes. Some psychiatric observations are noteworthy because they reveal that Pavlovian training can only be effectively employed under specific mental circumstances. To mold individuals into the desired mold, victims must reach a state where their vigilant consciousness and mental awareness are compromised. Freedom of discourse and open intellectual exchange impede conditioning. Instead, feelings of terror, fear, hopelessness, isolation, and being cornered must be cultivated. Brainwashing, also referred to as mind control, 
menticide, coercive persuasion, thought control, thought reform, and forced re-education, is the notion that specific psychological methods can modify or manipulate the human mind. It is purported to diminish an individual's capacity for critical or independent thinking, enabling the insertion of new, undesired thoughts and concepts, and altering their attitudes, values, and beliefs. Transcending Fear While fear can be a powerful motivator for negative outcomes, it also presents opportunities for growth, resilience, and transformation. By reframing fear from a paralyzing emotion to a catalyst for action, individuals can harness its energy to confront challenges, overcome obstacles, and achieve personal or collective goals. Transcending fear involves cultivating courage, resilience, and adaptive coping strategies to navigate uncertainty and adversity with grace and determination. Harnessing Fear for Positive Outcomes Fear can also be harnessed for positive purposes, serving as a catalyst for social change, innovation, and progress. When channeled constructively, fear can inspire individuals and communities to mobilize resources, advocate for justice, and address pressing issues such as inequality, injustice, and environmental degradation. By acknowledging and embracing fear as a natural part of the human experience, individuals can harness its energy to fuel creativity, empathy, and solidarity, driving positive change in society. Conclusion The science of fear reveals its multifaceted nature and profound influence on human cognition, emotion, and behavior. While fear can be manipulated for negative outcomes by threat actors seeking to exploit vulnerabilities and exert control, it also holds the potential for growth, resilience, and transformation. By understanding the mechanisms of fear, reframing its impact, and harnessing its energy for positive purposes, individuals and societies can transcend fear and embrace its transformative power to create a more just, compassionate, and resilient world.